At least 28 people have been killed and 61 wounded by car bomb targeting the Turkish military in Ankara. And this is the latest in string of attacks to shake the country. The car bombing occurred in the heart of the capital as a convoy of military buses carrying dozens of soldiers stopped at traffic lights, creating scenes of panic and chaos. It's still not clear who carried out the attack. Our correspondent Mihal Batovic caught the explosion near terrorist attack and said more could happen. The explosion that happened at Turkey's capital, Ankara, was definitely a terrorist attack. Uh, it happened only just a couple of hundred uh, meters away from very central locations from the military headquarters, from the parliament, as well as the prime minister's office. Uh, there were many people who were killed and many who were injured who are being treated in 14 different hospitals at this moment. Um, it is not clear whether or not this was a suicide car bomb, but it was clearly a bomb that exploded. A large explosion took place. Uh, there was a huge fire that broke out. It took a while for firefighters to put out that fire. A smoke filled the air at that time. Um, evacuation of the area took place because there are anti-terror uh, units at that location at this moment, uh, as well as crime scene investigation units. They're collecting evidence from the scene at this specific moment. Uh, there, at the time of the explosion, there was a high-level security meeting taking place at the presidential office. And following the, the explosion, uh, the, uh, it was announced by the Turkish authorities that they, are, had, they have convened for another Security Council meeting. Uh, so a lot is happening at the center of Ankara, but also when we take a look at the Turkish-Syrian border. Uh, it was stated that uh, more attacks could possibly happen from the Turkish uh, military towards Syrian Kurds. Uh, it was uh, announced by the Turkish government that they have no intention of stopping this, uh, that they are furious at this uh, moment regarding some statements uh, made by allies that the Turkey should back off. However, uh, it was stated that they have no intention to stop shelling the Kurds, the YPG, which is the Syrian Kurdish People's Protection Units, because they are seen as a terrorist organization by Turkey. Let's take a listen to the the latest statement from President Erdogan regarding this statement. We were supposed to act together as coalition forces. What happened? Now they say to Turkey, stop shelling PYD, stop shelling YPG. Forgive me, but we don't intend to do that. If somebody fires mortar bombs or bullets at Turkey, they should know that Turkey will give as good as it gets. Meanwhile, Turkey's shelling of Syrian Kurds at the border was also discussed at the UN Security Council meeting. Although they expressed concern, uh, there was no agreement made for a resolution to come out of that meeting. This is Mikhail Bardavid for CCTV in Istanbul.